guys! Today we're going to be taking a look at three more ponies from Basic Fun's My Little Pony 35th Anniversary range. Now, we've already looked at the original 1983 collection. Today we're looking at the second set of ponies that Basic Fun released, the Rainbow Collection. Um, there are actually six ponies in this series. Today we've only got three because they're the only ones I've been able to afford so far. Um, probably rather stupidly I've picked out two Earth Ponies and a Pegasus. I should have picked out a Unicorn just so you could get a proper look at the set. But we have what we have here today. So these are the Rainbow Ponies which were released in year two of G1 My Little Pony in 1984. Um, obviously the special feature is that they've got rainbow hair, as you can probably see in the boxes. They also have glittery symbols and they come with these rainbow brushes and combs. So we've got parasol, starshine and sunlight today. The difference between these and the originals is that these now have another special feature in that they are scented. So each pony in this series has a different scent which we'll look at in a minute because although I can't deliver the smell to you over YouTube it does at least say on the back of the box which pony has which scent. So um, yeah basically these are the first release of the Rainbow Ponies. Basic Fun have now released a second series which aren't scented I think because they'd found that there were a lot of issues with the heads and bodies discolouring due to whatever chemicals they put on them to make them smell the way they do. So I think that's probably why they've now released non-scented versions, so I'm, I've got to collect those as well. But for today we're just looking at the scented ponies. So let's take a close look at Parasol. So you can see she's got these lovely shiny parasols and this is her brush and comb and also we have a little puffy sticker included which was another feature which was added in 1984 for My Little Pony. All ponies for several years came with a sticker depicting the pony you just bought. So this says Parasol My Little Pony Rainbow Collection, got the 35th anniversary logo on there collect these and more. This is the whole set. So the ones we don't have are Moonstone, Windy and Sky Dancer. The other side of the box just has the same picture again. On the back we've got this lovely retro artwork showing all six ponies. It says the box includes a pony comb, ribbon, brush and sticker. So as you can see each pony has a different scent, as I already mentioned. Starshine is vanilla, sunlight is apple, parasol is strawberry, moonstone is raspberry, sky dancer is apricot, and windy is cherry. And then we've got another little story on the back here. My Little Pony is celebrating 35 years of friendship and magical adventures with these authentic replicas from the 1980s. The Rainbow Ponies are loved and sought after for their sparkling cutie marks and rainbow coloured hair, making them the perfect addition to any collection for fans of all ages. Of course, ponies' symbols were not called cutie marks back in the 80s, but <laughs> that's just a, a modern Hasbroism. So, but overall, I think these ponies look like pretty accurate replicas. It's just that, obviously, again, the packaging is not how they would have been packaged in the 80s because in the UK at least these were sold on cards. In America I think there was a oh no they came on longer cards in America. So they still were they still they were always sold on cards I think. So let's open Parasol up because I am absolutely itching to get my hands on her and see how she looks out of her box. Well, I've got to uh, show you the inside of the packaging because it's got original G1 My Little Pony artwork on here showing the rainbow ponies, sprinkles up in the clouds, they haven't actually re-released really sprinkles yet, and the sea ponies down in the pool under the waterfall, and they haven't released sea ponies yet, but 
let's hope that's a sign of things to come. Don't know if I can get the comb out of here without damaging. Back. Oh yes, I can just cut the ties. I'm going to pop that back in the box and continue opening parasol. So this is our lovely parasol. Need to just take the hair ties out of her mane and tail so we can see her beautiful flowing rainbow hair. There we go. And her tail is all curled into a ringlet like the 1983 collection was. I've got the choice of a brush or a comb to comb her hair with. I'm just going to comb her with a comb, I think. Fault lock's a little bit sticky, which is a bit strange. Well, dry, as if it's been sticky. It's almost like they've stuck it down with some water in the in the box to make her make her fringe stay down. Which is a little bit odd. But overall, there is our lovely parasol. Her mane still won't lay flat. I think she is a little bit lighter coloured than the 1980s version. We'll do a comparison when I get the rest of the set like we did with the original collection. So that's our puffy sticker in more detail. I've left that in the cellophane. I'm not going to take that out because I don't want it to get damaged. And then we've got the brush and comb, which are absolute replicas of the 1980s ones. If I saw these at car boot sales, I'd probably do a double take before I realised that they were the retro versions. They do have lovely rainbow hair and I must say, although you can't smell her, the scent is hitting me. As soon as she came out of the box, I can smell, yes, strawberries. <laughs> Now tell me she wasn't the strawberry ver she wasn't the uh, strawberry scented pony. Yes, she is strawberry. Definitely you can smell that she smells of strawberries. <laughs> I feel like I'm out in a field of strawberries. Or maybe eating strawberry, strawberry flavoured ice cream or something. So next we're going to open up Starshine, our first Pegasus from the Rainbow Collection. Here is our lovely Starshine. It's a bit strange to hold Starshine. She's um, very much like the 1980s version, but every Starshine I've ever seen from the 80s has been discoloured. So it's a bit odd to see Starshine looking so white. I think the symbols or cutie marks are a bit larger than the 80s versions as well. But there you go. Can't have everything. They are they are pretty accurate. They're definitely more accurate than 25th anniversary versions. So again, you can see she's got the lovely rainbow coloured hair, but she's obviously white rather than pink. And yes, she definitely smells of vanilla. And I must say the scents are, I, sometimes I'm very sensitive to fake fragrances and things, but I, I must say the smells are really nice. However, I can see even on our star shine here, it's probably hard for the camera to pick up, but she's got a little patch of discoloration on her neck. So I think that's why they discontinued the smelly versions. So this is our puffy sticker again. The artwork on the stickers is not original 1980s artwork, it's retro artwork, which Hasbro have released on various merchandise in more recent years, but even so, it's 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 nice to have all the accessories in keeping with how they were 35 years ago. So last but not least, we have Sunlight, who is a special pony to me because she was one of my sister's ponies 
and so she was one of the first ponies I got to play with when I was a child because she was passed down she was passed down to me from my sister so yeah sunlight always brings back happy childhood memories so I'm really looking forward to seeing her 35th anniversary version in the flesh Here we have Sunlight, our final rainbow pony of the day. I do think their symbols are a little large. That's the only complaint I'd have for how accurate they look compared to the 80s versions. She smells of apple, a little bit, a little bit too synthetic for me. I like the strawberry and vanilla scents. The apple one is not so good. Also, I may be wrong, but I have never seen G1 My Little Pony collector cones and rainbow pony brushes in this colour, so I don't think that's the original colour for Sunlight. I don't know what colour she originally came with, because I think my sister had lost all the combs and brushes by the time they were passed down to me but I'm pretty sure that's not the original colour for Sunlight. Yeah, so, funnily enough, Sunlight is probably my least favourite of the three, which is a bit sad, really, because, as I say, she is the... She is my, my childhood rainbow pony, along with Windy, who my sister also had. But, yeah, unfortunately... I don't think she does the 1980s version justice. She's lovely. Don't get me wrong, she's, she's lovely. I don't want to offend any My Little Ponies out there. But um, I just don't think she's particularly like the 80s version. Her sticker is cute. I do like... I love, I love the artwork on these. Although, again, I think it would have been nicer... In a way, if they'd used the original artwork. Having said that, you'd probably then get scammers on the internet trying to sell the modern puffy stickers as the original, so it's probably for the best. So yeah, overall, I think these are really, really cute. I do think they're accurate, they're pretty accurate. It's just the symbols are too big. Starshine looks too white, but I think that's just because... Obviously, I've only ever seen the very old versions before. And Sunlight, there's just something not quite accurate with her. Or maybe it's just I don't like her apple scent. I do like the strawberry and vanilla scents. And I, they've, still, they've definitely got the retro feel to them. But maybe not quite so much as the 1983 collection. Because... I think it's I think it's just the symbols or cutie marks being too big and also this comb and brush being the wrong colour. But that's just me being picky. Overall, they're lovely ponies. They're definitely a must-have for young My Little Pony fans and for long-term collectors alike to relive their childhoods. And yeah, I would recommend them to anyone. It's just that I'm a fussy collector who's obviously known this pony for years and somehow she she doesn't have the 1980s feel to her. Although looking at her now, she's actually growing on me. Perhaps it was just the apple scent hit me when she came out the box. I think I will prefer the non-scented versions when I finally get my hands on them. So, thanks for watching guys! I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Skylark24, comment below to let us know what you think of these My Little Ponies, and watch out next Sunday at 10am for another toy review video. Bye!